guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles here on YouTube and on Instagram. So, as you guys know, I got some new enclosures at the end of the year, 2020. I ordered from a company called Predators and Prey, and I did a review on the company. But, in that video, I wasn't able to show you guys the clips from me building the enclosures because I forgot where I uploaded them. But I found those clips of me building the enclosures. So before I upload all of the enclosure upgrade videos showing me putting together the enclosures and putting the animals in them, I thought we'd do an enclosure review so you could see me putting together these enclosures. We could talk a little more about the enclosures themselves and review the enclosures because my last review was more so about the company itself and a little bit about putting them together. But now that I've had them a while, Let's talk about the enclosures. So I'll go ahead and just play all the video clips from the day I got them and put them together. And we'll just, we'll talk. So this thumbnail is the thumbnail from that review video. If you want to watch the review video, which I recommend you do, um, that link will be in the description below for you guys to go check out. Okay, so as you saw, I was totally able to get these inside on my own. They were very heavy, but your girl lifts weights, I was able to do it. So got them inside, got two big ones, Phoenix and Calypso, and a smaller one for the fat tails. Um, so now I'm just opening it up. They were pretty decently packaged. Um, only a couple nicks here and there from shipping, a couple scratches on the glass pieces, but overall packaged pretty well. I know he said he's been trying to improve on packaging for a while. <laughs> My little dance. Um, so he said he keeps trying to improve on packaging. I think he did pretty decently. Um, so now I'm just going to his Instagram because he has a mini version of the enclosures. So it's watching how he puts it together. He does have er, instructions on his website, which I did not know. So we did discuss that he probably should send instructions or something that says, hey, instructions are on my website because I ended up putting all three enclosures together with pieces backwards. So screw holes didn't line up and it was very frustrating. And then I talked to him, found out I was putting them together wrong and then had to take them all apart and re-put them together properly. But when I did, these screw holes all did line up and it went much smoother. So as you can see, they're pretty easy to put together. I already have two together in this clip. I'm putting together the last one. Um, easy to do by myself. The hardest part was with the big ones, trying to keep everything balanced and standing by myself. But, you know, I did it. And, yeah, that was a failed attempt right there. But So, yeah, super easy to put together. Did it by myself. They slide together like a puzzle. Um, my one complaint, this last enclosure had one screw on each side in the corner. The other two enclosures had a screw for each corner. Now that's not totally necessary, but because the other two did and this one didn't, it did look like he was rushing and just didn't want to finish it. So only complaint with that right there. And this is what it looked like when it was all done. So if you guys watch my review video, you know that I did have an issue also with this last one um, because some grooves were forgotten when he cut the top panel so my dad did have to cut it for me in order for me to be able to attach the top panel um you know accidents happen totally understandable had that been the only issue it would have been fine but you know the whole process was just what an adventure so you'll have to watch my review video i'm not going to get into that because this video is about the enclosures so yes they're together they work great um 
some of the glass doors are a little tight. I really had to work to get them into the tracks on Calypso's. I actually have a really hard time moving her doors. Now, is that because I also have the fat tail enclosure on top of it, so it's starting to bow in a little bit and create pressure? You know, probably, maybe, um, but not ideal. I did find out after when I went to put Calypso into her enclosure that I actually put the top and the bottom on backwards. So in theory, the track probably shouldn't even be able to properly sit in there. It should be falling out but because it is such a tight fit it doesn't even matter that I put the top panel on the bottom and the bottom panel on the top um, because either way that glass isn't going anywhere and I have to use my full body weight to slide that door open so is that a user thing with like with the weight on top I don't know he did tell me these enclosures are supposed to be a little stack no problem now, maybe it's because I have a smaller enclosure on top of the bigger enclosure as opposed to the same size enclosures stacked on top of each other, you know, PVC, a little flimsy. So I wasn't quite expecting amazingness as far as stacking goes, but because he told me they can stack, you know, had some high hopes. Um, might be different if I stack the same size on top of each other, which is what I want someday when I actually have a reptile room. The enclosures that are the same size will be stacked on top of each other so maybe that'll make a difference but you know other than that I don't have many complaints as far as the enclosures go you know they they work well they're nice and big I do like that the PVC made it very easy to screw in lighting um, because I did install my own lighting I didn't have him install lighting my boyfriend and I did it um, and yeah it worked pretty well I was able to do some of it on my own like, I installed the bulb guards, my boyfriend did everything else, but the bulb guards for the heat lamps, I did on my own. Very proud of myself, but it was super easy to do, material was super easy to screw in. The holes for wires and whatnot, not very big. I actually had my dad make one of the holes bigger so I could fit wires through it. So do keep that in mind if you do ever end up getting enclosures from him. Um, put your wires through the holes before you finish putting the enclosures together. Luckily, I was smart enough to do that with my UVB wires. You know, I didn't have the actual UVB installed yet, but I did pull the wire through before screwing on the top of the enclosure because there was no way that I was going to get that plug through those holes because they are tiny. Now, the enclosures do have ventilation holes, both on the back and on the side, so that's good. You know, they're small enough that no animals, at least that I can think of, like that you're putting in there, will squeeze through. You know, my animals aren't going to escape through these holes, so they're a good size, pretty good there. So, you know, as far as the enclosures themselves go, I don't have too many complaints. You know, they were a pretty good price, so you get what you pay for. They, they do what I need them to do. They work. You know, they're aesthetically pleasing. They're all white. So, you know, as far as the enclosures go, I don't have too many complaints. So, again, make sure to watch my previous review video on getting enclosures from the company. This is just my review on the actual enclosures themselves. But, yeah, so next videos are going to be actually showing you guys setting them up for the animals i'm so excited so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those and we'll see you for those videos bye